Welcome to the world of virtual reality, where the stakes are higher than anyone could have imagined. Today, we're recapping Season 1 of Sword Art Online, a groundbreaking anime that brings the concept of life or death gaming to the forefront. In this season, we follow Kirito, a solo player trapped in the virtual world of Sword Art Online, where death in the game means death in real life. From dangerous dungeons of Ironcrad to the mystical world of Alfaheim, Season 1 takes us on a journey filled with thrilling battles, heart-wrenching moments, and unforgettable relationships. So let's dive into the two arcs that define Sword Art Online's first season, Ironcrad Art and the Fairy Dance Art. The story begins in the year 2022 where a revolutionary new game called Sword Art Online has launched, offering players an immersive virtual reality experience like no other. Hirito, a beta tester for the game, eagerly logs in along with thousands of other players to explore the vast floating castle of Ironcraft. But what starts as an exciting adventure quickly turns into a nightmare, Players soon discover that they are trapped inside the game with no ability to log out. The game's creator, Kaiba Akihito, appears before them and delivers the chilling message. If you die in the game, you die in life. The only way to escape is to clear all 100 floors of the game. With stakes higher than ever, players must band together or go solo to survive. Kirito, recognizing the danger, decides to play as a solo player, using his experience as a beta tester to gain an edge. But as the death toll rises, the weight of his decision starts to take its toll. Early in the game, Kirito meets Asuna, a fierce and determined player who quickly rises through the ranks of Sword Art Online. Though Kirito prefers to fight alone, his encounters with Asuna gradually change his perspective. Together, they make a formidable team, taking on powerful bosses and clearing floors with precision. Over time, Kirito and Asuna's relationship deepens beyond mere comrades in arms. They grow closer, finding solace in each other as the horrors of the game take their toll on everyone around them. In a world filled with danger, their bond becomes a source of hope and strength. At one point, Kirito and Asuna decide to step away from the front lines and live a peaceful life together in the cabin on the 22nd floor. It's a rare moment of peace amidst the chaos, but it doesn't last. As the game progresses, the looming threat of death remains ever present, forcing them back into battle. As Kirito and the other players make their way through the floors of Ironcrad, they face increasingly difficult challenges. The battles are fierce and many lives are lost, but Kirito's determination never wavers, especially with Asuna by his side. Together, they help lead the charge against the most dangerous enemies the game has to offer. But the most shocking revelation comes when Kirito learns the true identity of the leader of the strongest guild in the game, the Knights of the Blood Oath. Heathcliff, the guild leader, is none other than Kayaba Hito, the creator of Sword Art Online. With this revelation, the final battle for freedom begins. In a climactic duel, Kirito faces off against Heathcliff, knowing that victory will mean the end of the game and the release of the remaining players. But the battle takes a tragic turn when Asuna sacrifices herself to save Kirito. Overwhelmed with grief, Kirito pushes forward, using every last ounce of his strength to defeat Heathcliff in the game. With Heathcliff's defeat, Sword Art Online comes to an end. The surviving players are freed from the game, but the emotional scars of their time in Ironcrad remains. In a final dreamlike sequence, Kirito and Asuna are reunited, promising to meet again in the real world. But Kirito's journey is far from over. After waking up in the real world, Kirito learns that Asuna has not regained consciousness. Even though the game has ended, she, along with 300 other players, 
is trapped in a new game, Alphaheim Online, a fairy themed virtual world. Determined to res rescue Asuna, Kirito logs into Alphaheim Online, Alphaheim Online, where he meets new allies, including Leafa, a skilled player who helps him navigate the world of flying fairies and magic. Unbeknownst to Kirito, Leafa is actually his younger sister, Suhu Suhuga, who has her own complicated feelings for him. Together, Kirito and Leafa embark on a quest to reach the top of the world tree, where Asuna is being held captive by the sinister Oberon, the king of Alphaheim. Oberon, also known as Sugo, is the mastermind behind the new game, and his twisted goals make him one of the most despicable villains in the series. He has been trapped in a virtual cage by Oberon, who plans to use her and the other players for unethical experiments, despite grim situations. Asuna never gives up hope that Kirito will come to rescue her. In a dramatic showdown, Kirito reaches the top of the world tree and confronts Oberon. Filled by his love for Asuna and his desire to end the nightmare once and for all, Kirito overcomes the odds, defeating Oberon in a brutal final battle. With Oberon's defeat, Asuna and the other trapped players are finally free. Kirito and Asuna are reunited in the real world, their bond stronger than ever after enduring two life-threatening virtual worlds. Season 1 of Sword Art Online takes us on an emotional roller coaster from the deadly towers of Ironcrad to the mystical world of Alphaheim. Kirito's journey is one of love, sacrifice, and determination, as he battles not only powerful enemies, but also the weight of the lives depending on him. But even with Ironcrad and Alphaheim behind them, Kirito and Asuna's journey is far from over. The world of virtual reality has only just begun to unfold, and even greater challenges await them in the future. Thanks for watching this recap of Sword Art Online Season 1. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more anime recaps and breakdowns. Until next time, stay strong and remember, the game may be virtual, but the bonds we form are real. See me to Ralph. Peace.